a couple days before the main raid we decided to soak some of their turrets that they had pillared down so we ended up doing exactly that After soaking two heavy turrets on the front hatch frame, we ended up being able to shoot down the other hatch frame and now we're gonna go for the third hatch frame on the side that we will build up from. And so we just did that soaking for fun. We did not really have any plan in mind when we did that. We just wanted to do that and, you know, go away. Just a little bit of a fun grief. Not even fun, you could say. But however, a couple days later, we came up with a plan that we could actually build up to their base. Because they don't have spam like every other base built on this spot. So this is exactly what we did. And yeah, enjoy the clip. Okay, now Professor iCreepy has to come and teach a lecture because a lot of confusion will happen if I don't. <laughs> and I know a lot of people won't know about this method, so we gotta, we gotta teach some stuff. So anyways, this is the Lava Plateau. However, how do you rate it? Like, there's no way to actually be like, yo, you can rate it this way. You gotta soak everything and everybody on Genesis is capped turrets. However, you build a foundation underneath it and then pillar and ceiling all the way under their base and after that you can build up with walls and ladders all the way up to their base and after that you can vacuum yourself into a one by one all the way towards their main base it's pretty hard to do so when they have so many turrets everywhere but it it will work out in the end after a couple of hours of trying but it's hard <music> So throughout this whole method, the best thing you could do is have patience because turrets sometimes shoot through the doors, turrets sometimes glitch you out of here, sometimes you lag and die. So yeah, I died over a hundred times, I'm not even gonna lie, over a hundred times because this game is so bad. However, it does not matter because during this method, you gotta have so much patience, so much patience. But for me, I was in a Zoom lecture at that time, studying psychology and throughout also pharmacology, throughout the raid. So, you know, I was listening to the lecture and also trying to concentrate on art and not die at the same time. However, I died so many times. As you can see, I went from flag to 60 sets of hide. And yeah, it was so hard. However, as you can see, this is the practical session now. We are away from the whiteboard. Professor Akripi is going to show you the practical. So you just got to go back and forth, make stuff. And as you can see, see, you die. You just die. You, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> you just die. But you got to have patience. Wait a minute or two on your timer and then go back and restart. However, this is me once I got a bit closer to their base. So yeah, once you get like super close to the base, it gets easier from there on out. But the medium range is the hardest point onwards because you just get shot by everything however once i got there my plan was to destroy only one wall and get through that one wall safe and sound however unlucky me they had a heavy turret inside that shot me and once that turret shot me i tried to place 3c4 to blow up that ramp and also destroy the heavy with it but however the plan failed so hard and then i just decided to go for it with the rush shield but i died so yeah, i'm sorry it was hard I went back to the server though and I brought a set of flak and a beer to just run in afterwards and then now you will see that I guess.
and I'm sorry that there's no voice. I think it was because I had my mic muted throughout most of it because I did not want to talk and I was in a lecture and I wanted to listen a bit. And yeah, that was the first reason and the other reason is just because I don't think I was even talking throughout that time. So I'm going to commentate, I guess, over it and I had a bit of song over the other bit. So yeah, you know, we're going to have everybody satisfied talking and also song because there's people that want that and people that want the other one. So anyways, I made a lot of mistakes with my first attempt on this base. As you can see, I'm very aggressive with the C4. I am destroying vaults like I shouldn't be doing that because they have so many tech generators. They had actually four tech genies, three outside, one inside. So I I could not turn off any of the turrets, like not even one of them. I know I could destroy like a wall and shoot the tech genie from the outside, but I tried it and trust me, I was not able to succeed at that. Anyways, I decided to just go and grab as much cryo loot as I can without doing them more damage. But however, I ended up using more C4 and more C4. And every time I did use C4, I made it a couple holes in the wall. And when I do that, the hatch frames, the turrets outside on hatch frames will shoot inside. So it made it so hard for me to stay inside the base. As you can see, I even placed more C4. I was just being pretty dumb with this. I really should have thought smartly about the ways I did this right. As you can see, there's another wall in that base. So yeah, it just kept getting harder and harder for me to stay inside the base. I, I just got shot everywhere I went and then I was like, you know, I should cut my losses short and get out with the loot that I have. I had probably like 200 tames on me or something of that sort. As you can see, I'm almost overweighted with tames and stuff. So yeah, I had a lot on me. I ended up backing out, putting everything in the Giga that I had down and their base because I had that Giga because Magmas and Basilics tend to come to this area and be annoying. So yeah, I ended up putting everything inside the Giga. And I went back in for round two. So on round two, I was able to get in very good, very smoothly, not get shot even once. However, the, the whole base was just destroyed. I ended up destroying this craft bridge. I think it was empty. Might have glitched. Uh, the bag might have glitched towards the next floor. But I think it was just uh, empty. However, that doesn't matter. And yeah, so yeah, I... It was just really hard for me to do anything. As you can see, there's so many holes in this base. I'm getting shot. I'm getting shot wherever I go. I just gave up at this point. I was like, just kill me. I'm going to come back with another set of gear because this was not possible. But yeah, my next plan was destroy all the tech genies outside. So yeah, I ended up destroying one of the tech genies, as you can see. And I also destroyed a tech turret that was on this tech genie because that tech turret made it so hard for me to do this raid because yeah, that was... The thing shooting me the most and then i had to deal with this god mode magma for some reason it was not getting shot i don't know i couldn't kill it it was absolutely nothing i could do with it and then the server got ddos i think the reason that it got ddos is because a tribe came by one of their allies i believe and this is small tribes you shouldn't be teaming and stuff like that however their allies ended up ddos in the server as you can see you might say it just might be my wi-fi connection because the ping is like 130 and 140 but no, trust me, my ping in EU servers is always 30 or less. However, as you can see, the 255, the epic one, is right here as well. Yeah, they did as a server completely. I could not do anything at this point. I just had to lay in the bed and wait for the DDoS to go away. But little did I know, it was actually their allies that DDoS, and they waited for them, like for the DDoS to finish till their tribe mates came or their allies came online, as you saw, and to prove that allies actually came over as you can see they picked me with a skiff however this was after i transported every single loot that i got like the 200 tames in the beginning so it didn't really matter although i was pretty pissed at that so and this tribe right here that picked me and teamed on me and did as a server to help them get on was actually this tribe that we raided in this video like this juicy raid that we did here the six day mega war that we ended in whatever almost 40k views pretty nice and yeah so yeah they teamed on us they did as a server so we couldn't do the raid or i couldn't do the raid because this was solo like as you could say however it, it got pretty pissed off so i left the server and i was like you know what i'm gonna come back tomorrow but surprisingly my friend tagged me in a post on facebook and these guys apparently were trying to sell their base they said they had nine cryophages full of tames and a fat base so i was like yo i have to go back for them so i went back the next day at the same exact time 
and I was hoping that their allies won't DDoS the server. But however, the second I joined, they saw my name join and they DDoS the server throughout the whole time that I built up towards their base and into their base on the second attempt. And yeah, this is the second day I was hardly able to do anything because of the lag and the DDoS. But I was slowly and slowly and steadily able to kind of move up towards their base. I was trying my best to not, you know, just, you know, punch the wall, <laughs> literally. <laughs> like, uh, I'm not even kidding right now. However, uh, I ended up getting up towards their base. I built up almost the same exact way. The magma got in the way again. However, it was good. And yeah, they repaired the holes that I made the first day and so my mistakes were covered and so this time I decided to do everything super smartly and not use C4 at all unless I have taken out everything, every important loot apart from the stuff in the vaults. So however, once I got back in, I did everything that you will see in a second but however, uh, these guys were kind of dumb I guess you could say because they did not replace the spam. They did not do anything to prevent me from doing this again. I don't know who these guys are. They just gave up, I think. They just sold the base or just put their base up for sale after the first attempt. And I only took like three cartridges of tames from them the first time and I barely did any damage. Like, they shouldn't have done that. They should have tried to actually defend their base instead of selling it. But however, <laughs> good for me. And yeah, my main priority this time was tech rifle cryo teams. So yeah, destroy cryo fridges and get cryo teams with the tech rifle, no C4 at all. Once I get all the cryo teams out, then I am allowed to use C4. That's the plan that I had in my mind. And however, I went upstairs to the third floor and I have two cryo fridges and a fridge over here. And as you can see, this is all their important teams by my beliefs, I guess you could say, because it's all their gegas and golems. And also two souls, because yeah, this must be where they kept their main tames and not in those cartridges down there. So I guess you could say I got all the main tames. However, uh, to my surprise, they had still not, you know, fixed up all the broken holes in their base. So this was a hole from yesterday. And yeah, it shot me with two shots and it killed me. My chest piece broke in two shots. That's insane. And then I wanted to go back to the server and bring another set of gear to use. But however, I was like, you know, let me just try it with primitive, you know, primitive height. So that's exactly what I did. And then I realized that this vault had the crossbow in it. So that was good. And I was able to get back up to the third floor and get my body back. And yeah, so yeah, they had a bunch more stuff like tech gear in here as well. However, I just needed the flag to cover me and keep me safe and not get me killed in one shot again or two shots, I guess you could say. However, yeah, my body, I just needed one grapple. I got back up there. I almost went back to my server, but I got lucky with that, I guess you could say. So I was able to get everything back. And yeah, did you see that speed of taking all? You cannot do that on PC. Like, that's what's up. <laughs> and yeah, that's why I use a controller most of the time. However, I went back down and yeah, I just threw this turtle out just for fun over here. I wanted to see what they would do when they get on. <laughs> would they kill it? Would they even be able to kill it? I was just curious. And as you can see, there's another hole that they did not patch up from yesterday. So it, it just made my job harder and harder. Why are these guys doing this? Like, why can't you just repair your base? Like, it's not that hard. It's just like 10 metal walls. But yeah, however, they didn't. So yeah, after that, I decided to go for these fridges cryo fridges and see what they have in them so yeah so yeah the cryo fridges downstairs had as you saw a full cap of tanks but i think these are like the less important things that they have in their base because like turtles that was over there that is not really the most important team i still believe that the important things were just the three cryo fridges upstairs and i've got them all so as you can see this is the second cryo fridge i guess and yeah see i got it all very nice juicy very very nice and yeah it got me slot capped and the second i got slot capped uh wait we haven't been slot capped yet we still gotta drop a bunch of stuff and take hold and you know do all of that and yeah so yeah come on come on come on help me help me commentate please just take it and as you can see there's a space well as well this will be our first space well on this new series i guess and yeah, so I end up going back out pretty, pretty hard, 
not hard, but pretty frustrating to do. However, I got out very nice, smoothly, and the slot cap at Thames. Let's go. So for a good while there, DDoSing had stopped, but then DDoSing started again. So I realized that their allies saw me do the raid again. And that's probably the reason that they DDoS. So after about tw 10 minutes of the DDoS, 20, 10 minutes, something like that, the allies came on again. Not their allies, the guys that I'm raiding came on again. But however, I was able to escape with the slack up teams. And my guy typed in chat, nice try. I don't think he realized yet that I got away with the slack up of teams. <laughs> I don't think he realized. That's why he's saying nice try. But however, they destroyed the platform that I made to get into their base. So yeah, when you do this type of raid, there's no way you can really online raid. Because all they need is to rocket down that thing just once and it's done. And yeah, I was not able to destroy all the things. So yeah, as you can see in chat, nice try. However, I got away with so much loot. And we also got like a, what, 755 Giga melee, something like that. Which was pretty good. It was an upgrade for sure. For sure, I believe. I think there's 765 is the best right now in this smalls for Xbox. But however, this was pretty nice. We got away with so much loot. But however, this clip right here is from the third day. I went back again. They had this spam. This is the only spam that they had for the next day. And the second I destroyed that spam, the guys started DDoS. And again, I, I just got pissed and I left. I did not even try to do anything this time. I just left straight away. It got annoying. Like, come on. Please stop DDoSing people. Like, this is just... I don't know. It just proves that you're scared. And I see haters in the comment section saying that I'm a bot, but... Give me one reason, every time I join a server with a main account of mine, it gets DDoS, give me one reason. If you lot think that I'm bad at the game, like then why, what is up with this DDoS? Are, you guys are scared. <laughs> Just admit it, like, it's not the fact that I'm bad. Because <laughs> if I was bad, you would probably, the first thing you would do is not DDoS, you would come and try to find me. However, I'm gonna stop rambling now. I hope you enjoyed the video. We got away with around 500 teams, you could say, and it was pretty nice. And these guys probably are trying to sell their base, so if somebody wants to buy it, go for it before I wipe it.